Hi everybody, it's 314 Reactor here. Today we're looking at Quake 2 RTX with the 1.2 patch. I think it adds in temporal anti-aliasing, adds in the reflection refraction depth, so that's how many reflections can be in reflections, and thick glass refraction. Simulates reflection and refraction of effects in thick glass. Yep, enabled. So one thing I didn't actually notice the last time was that you can change the time of day and stuff, which is really cool. So we set that to current time. See what happens. Control sum of gamepad, that's cool. You can completely customize the uh, time of day and stuff, which is cool. And there's a way to change the way the resolution scales. So now it has uh, dynamic resolution scaling. So you can scale it up and down in real time between 50 and 100% to try and maintain you at that 60 frames a second. So minimum scale 50, maximum scale 100, you can crank it all the way down to 25, which will look pretty bad at that point, I'm reckoning. 50% shouldn't be too bad, that should take us down to 1080, which should be okay internally. So let's dive in and see what it looks like. They've also improved a few textures and stuff, so that should be pretty good. So in theory, this thick glass should look a lot more reflecty and thick and juicy. And some of the metal materials should look better as well. Ooh, yeah. Runs really nice with that dynamic scaling on as well. Oh, I thought that was a monster. Oh my god, it's dark. Oh, just look at those shadows there. So good. Whoop. Hello. Sorry, buddy. So we're scaling down to tell you there, and it's running okay. So what if we turn off the scaling and pump it up to, whoops, not 200. That would be crazy. 100. Oh, it looks a lot sharper, but the frame rate tanks to 20. Wow. It's because so much is ray traced. I think it does global illumination, reflections, and shadowing, which not a lot of modern games running RTX, if any, do. So that's why it's so hefty, even on an old game. Wow. So what if we go... Oof. If we go to here, then we add on, set the minimum scale to 75. So it's about finding that balance of general sharpness and frame rate. And I'm running this on a 2080, the original 2080, so just to give you an idea, it's running around 30 frames. It seems to be pretty locked at 30 frames at this point. We go to video again. So that's a uh, 65 minimum scaling. So that's when the frame rate dips, it takes it down to a minimum of 65% of the overall resolution internally. So I think that's kind of maintains that kind of sharpness, that balance of sharpness and performance, which is pretty good. Let's turn it up to 70 minimum scale. A little bit sharper, knocks about six frames off. So I think running at 4K, resolution scaling, minimum scale 65, max 100, that seems to be the ticket, I think. Very nice. If you're running at 1080p, you'll be fine. With a 1080, uh, 1080, sorry. 1080p, I think I have heard of some people running this with a 1080 because they enabled RTX on um, older cards. As for how it does that, it's probably pretty hacky, missing a few features, and as I've read, it runs pretty slowly. I have got a 1080, so I may try it at some point and do a video on it. And see, it's set to the current time, so it's set to night. Current time, dawn, morning, noon. See if we can set it to morning. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> Immediate change. Wow. 
Ah, oh, just look how nice that metal looks there. And the reflectivity in it as well, look at that. Beautiful. And the reflectivity in the gun, none of the bullshit errors that you get with screen space reflections. That is very, 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 very nice. It's the original environment map for the sky. And there's Earth. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, that lighting looks so good. Oof, it just looks so sharp and perfect, and there's none of the errors with uh, you get with like screen space stuff. Whoa! Or raster lighting. It's all just flawless, and it makes this feel like you're playing on a small Quake 2 board game because it just looks real. Like you've got a little mini ca uh, camera moving around the board game. It's so realistic looking, the lighting. All they need to do is put DLSS in this. Because then that will enable way better performance and maintaining the sharpness. See that subtle lighting around the edges there? Just perfect. You cannot get that with Rasta. It's just so good. The perfect shadow number and. Oof. Multiple shadows. So I'm going to skip ahead to another level. Getting that power one. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Just look at those metal barrels reflecting everything. It's like a potato. This is the rocket launcher. No, grenade launcher. Oh, look at that. Ooh, ooh, look at those lighting effects. You can still see it's a bit kind of grainy in some points. I think that's due to the amount of uh, rays that are being sent out and the denoiser is having some trouble with it. But I imagine they'll sort that out with increased rays and a better denoiser in the future. Is this the railgun? Oh, look at that railgun! Oh, that looks nice. Oh, look at this thing. Oh my goodness. It's kind of freaky. Oh, BFG 10k. Or is it the BFG 9k? Can't remember. Hey, he's dead. Oh, just the lighting. Oh, it just looks so very, 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 very nice. Oh, metal floor. Oh, that's, that's really nice. Oh, look at that as well. Look at that reflection. Oh, starting to look like a movie. Because obviously movies use ray tracing and have done for ages, so naturally this is going to start looking more like a movie. In a few years we'll have probably like Disney Pixar grade games uh, from the past few years. And then not long after that we'll probably have photorealistic, like Lion King levels in real time. Oh my god. Oof, I really love my graphical effects. All the way from like 3D Mark 2001 stuff, all the way to, well, ray tracing. And look at that shadow as well. Oh my god. What is that? Oh my god. I've never actually played the game this far, I must admit. I didn't know these were in it. That's uh, disturbing. Oh my god! Whoop! 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 Look at that shadowing though. I mean, sure, they're horrible atrocities, but the shadowing. Ah, you can see the. Uh, you can actually see there's like a delay for when the rays are hit. See that little uh, weird effect there? I think what's happening there is. I think. Is that rays not. Uh, like, areas not seen rays are being occluded and not being dealt with and then when that area becomes open to be hit with rays it's taking its time to be either denoised or for the rays to be processed I don't know it's it'll be something like that 
That's a bit of a visual anomaly. Hopefully they fix that. Hopefully that's something they manage to uh, work around. Because that is a bit nasty. Oh, wow. So this is like the absolute maximum quality this can do with full rays and everything. Look how nice that looks. There's still a bit of noise in places, but wow. In fact, let's time how long that took so we can get the frames per second, or it'll be seconds per frame in this case, I think. Unpause, and go. 19 seconds, 0.85. So that's, yeah, nearly 20 seconds a frame. Wow. That's a cool mode to put in it. I don't know if that was there before. Alright, it's time for the big guns, literally. <laughs> yeah, some of that, buddy. Ooh. So, let's try a stick. Okay, let's try that. So here, you can literally throw the sun around with the controller. So you can real time move all the shadowing around. Wow. That's pretty cool. That is so good. Right, look at some glass with a new effect on and then a new effect off, and I think that will wrap the video. So here's the thick glass with the new effect on. The thick glass effect on. And that's with it off. Obviously, the thicker the glass, the differently the light is going to refract and reflect through it. So it makes sense to have that setting to take that into account. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm happy with that. Nice light rays coming through there. That looks so good. Just those flawless reflections. My god. Oh, look at that. There we go. So you've got the uh, the god rays. Also the god rays reflecting in the glass there. Wow. Oh, that's cool. So there's the setting on. The uh, thick glass setting on. And the god rays in the glass. There's the setting off. Wow, with the uh, rays in the thick glass. Wow. <laughs> That's really cool. Okay, that's enough for now, I think. So, uh, thank you for watching. This has been Quake 2 RTX. You can get it on Steam. If you already own Quake 2, you can get it for free. Other than that, you can buy, I think, Quake off of Steam and good old games and you should be able to get RTX with it, I think. Um, you're best off with an RTX card, but it can be run on a non-RTX NVIDIA card, but it won't run very well and I think it'll miss a lot of features. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and a comment and subscribe for more gaming and tech stuff. I'm usually doing videos on uh, video game graphics or retro games, new games and projects on Raspberry Pi, Arduinos, etc. So, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.